All right. So that's my thoughts on that. Let's move on to the uh, the proposed um, playoff format because I know that's going to be another question. I want to answer this. They propose to, instead of five teams from each league, go to the playoffs, right, with the wild card game being one game. They want to add seven, and with the first series being three games, like a mini wild card, like a wild card-ish type situation. The number one team in the league gets a bye, and the number two and the three get a pick who they're going to play in the next series out of the two and three get a pick out of the four, five, six, and seven. Screw that format. Um, why? Because it's different. That new playoff format sucks. Why? Because it's different. I want anyone to answer why it's bad because other than because it's not what I'm used to. All right. So there's four or five people who are saying it's bad, but they don't have any reason why. So let's, let's hear some reasons why. I like that we can see the chat on the screen so that a lot of people are disagree with that. Is it just a revenue thing? No, it's not. It's to make it exciting. So here's the thing. Here's the reason why I don't like it. All right. Let me give you pros and cons. Pros or so sorry. Let's give me cons. Cons longer season. It's more games. I'm a pitcher. We don't need to play more games. There's there is no way. In hell, we should be playing more games. No way in hell we should be playing more baseball games than we already play. I know you can still hear me, guys. The The, the video might cut out a little bit, but it's fine. I need to answer the questions either way. Um, I, I'm never going to be okay with more games. I think our games should be lower. Makes in-season, in-season trades less likely. Yeah, no, not really. Doesn't really do any of that. I um, think it's amazing for the players. More teams in the postseason. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, more players get national exposure. That doesn't really matter either. More revenue. There is more revenue, which we do get a playoff share. Our playoff shares actually will go small. We'll get smaller, though, because of the more teams. Um, that's just the way it'll work. Uh, but it's more games. So that's the biggest con for me. The positives are there's going to be a big selection show where the teams reveal who they want to play. And it's going to create drama in in the way that you know fans act like they, it's a trash system but in reality they love drama the same thing same people are like yeah we need robot ums because it's so important that balls and strikes are called perfectly every time but then they would fall asleep during the game when they have no one to get mad at we need umpires messing up calls because it's part of the draw of the game the human human element of it anything could go wrong it doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be robots playing. We're not robots. We're humans. So mistakes need to be made because mis- when mistakes are made, then we can create content around those mistakes. And then people who talk about it and people who watch it can keep their jobs. Why am I dropping so many goddamn frames? I hate Florida so much. I hate this stupid place. Oh my God. It's so bad. It's so pointless. Why? Why? Why does anyone come here? Mm. but it's sunny okay so robot umps are are, will make it boring the same way that the reason this is proposed to make it more exciting you you what you guys want is you want the number two team to pick up to choose the number four team to play and then they get crushed and you're like aha that was dumb and then you want to laugh at them on twitter and that is fun so you guys would like that i know traditional baseball traditional it doesn't matter people need to watch the game we're entertainers we're not we don't do anything valuable for for any, anything outside of that. Any, outside of giving you guys and making you feel some type of way and, and love your team and love where you live. Other than that, we don't build houses. We don't we don't farm crops and like feed you, right? We just give you an emotional response to us playing something at a high level. So once you understand that, then these things make more sense. No, you don't you don't get a pick as a top seed. You get a pick as a second seed and a third seed. Wildcard game is one of the most important things that makes sports the makes sports special. But there's no wildcard game in basketball. And the wildcard game in football is the exact same as everything else. It's the same length. You have the same opportunity to win it. Baseball, it's one game. Baseball isn't a one-game thing. We play series. We play three to five game series all the freaking time because of pitching and the way the game's played. It's a it's a it's a bigger, it's a game that's not you can't take it over. So like you could win the wild card game out of a fluke. 
pro is that it gives more than five teams incentive to play through all 162 games. Yeah, P- teams will be more more uh, apt to compete too. That's a pro. I think there's more pros than cons. I like it. Except for it's more games. I just don't want to play more baseball games. Like, it's just so long. Yeah. Also, the, another con would be uh, the 6 to 10 day layover. That's that's just so valuable in terms of baseball. That's crazy. It's so crazy. Giving a team six days off is just absolutely insane. Sitting 8 to 10 games. Yes. It would be It'd be tough. So I think that it's a good, it could be a good change. It needs a little tweaking. Maybe the break needs changed a little bit. The whole buy system maybe needs to go. Like maybe there's no buy. Uh, maybe extend it to just do eight teams and have no buy. You know what I mean? And have the first three teams pick their opponents and then the middle teams play each other no matter what. How many games do you like the season to be? No more than 120. And I think that those 40 days should be given to us off. That's what I think. I bet Reese McGuire hates Florida more than you. Who, who and what? What? I think it would lead to less tanking. A little bit. A little bit. But also going to the playoffs is going to be worth less too. It's going to mean less. Start in May, so there's less games. I would not mind pa- pa- packaging 40 more off days into the off season. I wouldn't mind it because our off season was literally exactly four months this year. The football's off season is like six months and a week. I understand they get their their they get their they get their uh, bodies beat up pretty good, but our it's eight, an eight month season is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Like we just get worn down. Like oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not Florida's fault. It's probably his fault. Feels like an artificially created drama for sports sports talk show host. No, it's actually uh, created drama that is literally what sports are. That is what they are. It's not artificially created. I, I, I do not accept that argument i do not accept the fact that things feel like they're forced it everything's forced it's we literally are we're forced to play against each other in terms of creating drama that is what sports are that is literally what sports are it is the world we live in guys you sit and you scroll through twitter you're on twitch right now you you go watch twitch fails everyone loves watching the dramatic stuff that's just the way it works and you have to get people watching and paying attention to it and you have to figure out ways to do that this is why i'm on their side is because i like to create content i'm really interested in how it all works and they need to think in this way they can't continue to be like we'll just do it the way we always did it because it's just gonna slowly 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 fade into the obscurity you gotta add stuff in that's why xfl came back because xfl is literally trying out dumb rules for the nfl because if they like them the nfl is just going to take them so having a selection show where a a team has to pick a team and the manager has to like reveal it is actually great and everyone will watch it you'll all watch it right that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying all right um, another rule change I wanted to get on or, or, or touch on to uh, the three batter rule. I don't think the three batter rule is that big of a deal. I think that it's going to be used a lot less in the American League than people think it's going to. And uh, for me personally, it doesn't really affect me that much. That said, I don't believe that it's going to do anything for shortening games. I don't think I don't think that shortening games is going to do anything for the sport. And I don't understand why we're obsessed with the whole shortening games thing. I haven't gotten a straight answer why shortening games is the is our strategy for everything, our reasoning behind every rule change and why we always want to do it, because I don't think there's data that supports that shortening games makes people watch it more. And that's all I got on that.